Welcome back to the AI Driven Marketer. I'm Dan Sanchez, my friends call me Danchez. And in this video, I wanna show you how to make an AI powered course. Yes, we can customize courses now. We can do personalization at scale so that you can actually not just deliver an awesome course, but then customize the lesson for every single student. And it's not nearly as hard as you would think. Let me show you how. First, I'm gonna dive into my website and I'm gonna be walking through this visually though. I'm gonna to try to explain it along as I go. So if you're only listening on the pod, uh, you can still get the gist of what I'm doing even just by listening. But if you wanna watch, you can watch it on Apple Podcasts, YouTube, or the website, AIDrivenMarketer.com, which is actually the page I'm looking at right now. It's AIDrivenMarketer.com slash course. And you can see I have a very basic landing page here and there's a little bit different going on here. This is a free course. You can actually come here and sign up for it if you wanna see like what this would look like for you uh, based on your information. Um, but I recommend coming here and testing it out for yourself, but I'm going to go and walk through it myself here. For starters, I've already pre-filled this form with my basic information. I put my first name, last name, my email, of course. And then I ask for three pieces of information that I use to customize the course for you. Because with these three pieces of information, I can tailor the lesson. So let's take a look at the put things I put. And I use some details from a former employer and my past job title there, which my job title was executive producer. And I ask, uh, what is the company sell in that particular company, which was Sweetfish? I sold pod we sold podcast production in general. And the company Sweetfish sold to B2B companies. So I've put that in there. Executive producer, podcast production, B2B companies. I'm going to go ahead and click start course. Boom, you're in the welcome page loads, nothing custom here. Um, but let's go into what's going on behind the scenes. I'm actually logged into my CRM slash marketing automation platform called High Level, which if you haven't heard of High Level, like go to my website under toolkit, AIDrivenMarketer.com slash toolkit. It's under the ultimate marketing platform and you can learn more about high level and what I freaking love about this CRM. Gosh, it's so freaking cheap for all the stuff that it does. Uh, I can't go into all the things about high level now, but one of the cool things that high level does is let you go into like this automation platform. It's, you know, in, in HubSpot, it's called Workflows. In Infusionsoft, they were called campaigns. In Active Campaign, they're called automations. <laughs> Everybody's got a different name for this thing, you know. In in Salesforce, it's a journey builder. So it's kind of like whatever you call this, this drag and drop place where you can have a trigger that runs through a sequence afterwards. And high level, they have the ability to tap straight into uh, Open AI's. API so you can essentially access chat GPT straight natively from the platform but there's other ways to do this if you're not using high level for your marketing automation platform you can do this with HubSpot and I believe you could do this through Zapier through other platforms too though I haven't tested and confirmed but I know for sure that you can do this with HubSpot and I'd, I'd, I'd be surprised if a modern marketing automation platform couldn't like work through Zapier to get the same thing done so let's take a look at how this works and how it's actually customizing the course. So first there's the trigger, that form we just submitted. I'm gonna let that run because it's sending me the first course right now. The first thing it does is bam, it goes and taps into chat GPT. You can see I have it loaded up with lesson one. It's going to chat GPT for turbo. Um, and I'm giving this this really long prompt um, and I'm actually customizing the prompt. Let me pull up the prompt for you here as I'm pulling it in via dynamic field but let me show you what this prompt actually looks like. So you can see here in this note that I have this super long prompt that's generating the thing. <laughs> um, and I'll kind of read it to you. It starts off with like a write a three point action plan for the marketer uh, who has just watched a lesson on AI marketing, transcript below, to have them get started. Customize the action items based on the information provided about the marketer below. Right in the first person is Dan Sanchez, the teacher, directly to the marketer in a style that is friendly and uses simple terms. Keep uh, each action item extremely concise. Do not use formatting, but do number each action item. Use the template and example below to guide your writing. Now, if you don't know how I use these long super prompts and how I'm using this this template and the example and the transcript to do all this stuff. Go through the course. I actually outlined it, this, how to do all this really robust prompting in the course that I've actually put out here for free. So like you'll learn about all this in the course. I'm actually utilizing what I talked about in the course to build the email course. So it's kind of fun that I'm 
putting it to work. Um, but you can see here, the next part is I'm actually dynamically inserting custom pieces about the marketer, the pieces that I just put in myself about like being executive producer, doing, be, working at a podcast agency and all that kind of stuff is dynamically inserted into the prompt. And that's where the magic happens, including my name, like including the name of the person. So it can dynamically call it out. And we know like insert first names, pretty basic, but it's still a nice touch if you can put it in there. AI can do it for you. Um, and of course, I give it a template of what the lesson should look like, an example of what that template looks like. And in there, I'm also dynamically insert, not dynamically, I'm statically inserting the transcript from this particular episode. Um, what's nice about working through the API is you can set a temperature. If you're not familiar with working with the API, temperature is where you can uh, set like how creative or straightforward you want the output to be the closer to point one you get the more straightforward it is the closer to point nine you get uh or i think it's point eight i think point two is the most straightforward point eight is like the most creative where it might hallucinate the most and take the most liberties i have it at point three almost all the way straightforward because i don't want it to i don't want it to get me in trouble and i want it to stay on track for what i've given it um but there's other use cases for the other one. So that's the first step. It actually generates that prompt. The next step is actually map, mapping that response to a field called ChatGPT field one. It takes that field and then it sends this first lesson. It actually sends, it goes through this really fast and it's probably waiting in my inbox right now. Um, and then it sends an email that looks like so, right? So in the email, I have a basic uh not customized intro to the lesson, which is good. I have a link to the video of the lesson. And under that, it says your custom action plan. And that's why I insert the response that ChatGPT gives me back. And this is the cool part, because let me show you what that response looked like for the information I just gave it. So here we are in my Gmail inbox where I'm looking at that exact email where I have the intro. I have a link to the video, which sends them back to the AI driven marketer.com website to watch the video. But more importantly, underneath here's the, your custom action plan. And you can see it's customized for me as an executive producer, uh, somebody at a company that works for B2B companies producing podcast services. And it says, uh, it breaks it down into three kind of an action plan of beginner action, intermediate action, advanced action. It says, Dan, as an executive producer, Producer focused on podcast production, starting by start by experimenting with AI to generate engaging episode titles or descriptions. Try asking AI to create a catchy title for a hypothetical podcast episode based on a simple theme you provide. So it's a very beginner action step. Most people have done that already. If I'm playing around with AI as an executive producer, I've probably already done this. So we jump to the immediate intermediate action step. Once you're comfortable with generating titles and descriptions, level up by using AI to draft outlines for your podcast episodes. Provide AI with a topic and a few key points of what you want to cover and ask it to structure an episode outline that includes introduction, main content sections, and a conclusion. This is starting to utilize the actual lesson that I talked about with the super prompts. That was lesson one, AI marketing super prompts. So it's starting to actually pull some of the content that I've given in the lesson into helping them level up their prompts. Let's go into the third one advanced action. To truly integrate AI into your podcast production process, consider using AI to transcribe interviews or content, then refine these transcripts into polished, ready to publish show notes. Provide AI with the raw transcript and ask it to summarize key points, highlight actionable insights, and format the content in a reader-friendly manner, ensuring it aligns with your B2B audience's expectations. So really cool. I actually used a like in the sample uh, for the lesson, I actually use podcasting, but I didn't, it could have been something else. If I given it a different job or being a CMO in a beauty industry, it would have given me something related to CMOs. It actually leans on the role quite heavily in just determining the action plan. So that's pretty much it. It actually uses the same process and that's just inserting that field there. It actually uses the same process because uh, it waits 24 hours and walks through it again. Then it, it goes and queries chat GPT again with the second lesson in the same way. It's actually the same prompt used over and over again. All, the only thing I'm switching out is the transcript uh, itself so that it's a different lesson. Uh, and then I do it again for lesson two, lesson three, lesson four, lesson five. And it's that straightforward. But think about how much more interesting it is that it's giving me custom action plans based on this role of executive being an executive producer. Um, 
And I've seen, I've tested it with so many different job titles, and it usually does a really good job of tailoring it to the job role itself. I think this is a huge step forward, utilizing the current tech we have now, not waiting six months for ChatGPT5 or some other tech to do it. This is something anybody can do with even current existing courses they have. Anybody can level up an email marketing course with this kind of plan, considering it's completely dynamic. Every single output will be different based on the company they're working for the products they sell and the role they have within that company, which is the whole point. Um, the more we can customize lessons, the more we can actually have people take action, make it simpler for them to get started. And if we're doing this for marketing, build affinity with them. So this is a cool step forward I've taken. I'd love to know what you think. Let me know. Uh, go to linkedin.com slash in slash digital marketing Dan. Um, shoot me a message. Connect with me. I'd love to know what you think about this, what you think about the course. Go ahead and go to AIDrivenmarketer.com slash course. Sign up. Test it out for yourself. This is pretty early for me. I even have a little comment at the end of every email here asking for feedback because I want to I don't know. I want to see what AI is producing for you and if it's actually hitting and making it more helpful for you to implement the lesson itself. So give me some feedback. And if you haven't already, leave a rating for the show. We're slowly going up the rankings for AI marketing in the Apple podcast store. And that's based on episodes and your ratings. So go tap that star. Uh, give it the amount of stars you think it's worth. And uh, if you want to go above and beyond, I'd love a comment. <laughs> let, let me know how this show is impacting you. 